Yeah, yeah. He might be able to see what's happening here electroplating, he didn't understand it. Yeah. But he didn't understand because of what you built here and he don't want to know about what you're doing. No. And what you're doing is you're helping him here, but you don't know what he's doing, you don't understand <laughs> making any feels. <laughs> so you're wasting time for him and he's wasting time for you to see what's going here. But if you ask you singly, what has happened what's happened there? What happened there? Well it's electrolyzed all the other electroplated. Electroplated, yeah. Electroplate. And what happened in there? It didn't. No. <laughs> nice so you can see the fields, but it's set up within it. Yes. And what did it do in there? Same thing, look. Yeah. And what did it do there? That's an opposite damn charge in that. It's all of a mix up. It's a mix up everywhere. Look at it. Mm. Okay? So you should put all of that over the whole lot of it. And look, Would have been it's the same. And you can tell your magnetic fields, can't you? You know what, Rob? Yeah, yeah. Your fields. And what's happened is your magnetic fields or electrical fields have done this. You know that if you're electroplating, you want to put a curve field, just electricity curve, an arc of charge. So look at the different colors to the arcs. See the red, the brown, see the white, and see the clean above. Yeah. So you've got one field, two fields, three fields, within a little distance like that. Three fields. You said, I didn't know about three fields. <laughs> I thought there was only north and south. I only thought there was positive and negative. But I just showed you a different thing within a magnet, because the centre yeah. of a magnet and everywhere else, except not right on the end. It's not right on the end. If that was a flat piece of magnet, you don't get nothing in there, and you don't get anything out there. Your flame and field of magnetism comes out of just about that far in and that far out on a 45 degree angle. That's how it comes out of an end of a bar, doesn't it? It does not come off that tip there. It doesn't come off the centre if that was solid. It don't happen there. It comes out of there where my finger is. All the way around. You can't do it. <laughs> so, the thing, people have used these in the past. Nobody's actually videotape now this material is rubbish what, what should we use Joe? Let's ask the wrong question again what shouldn't we use? this <laughs> or anything else what does this okay you can change your components and they'll do different things yeah. and all they are is conducting Mm. What this one here is because you've got two different colours mm. and those two different colours are two different iron base colours and the two different iron base colours are stacking that like a battery. <laughs> so you're getting positive and negative, positive and negative. Just from that. And just off that. That's yeah. a plate. That's a metal plate. Yeah. It's just like acting like an inside of a battery. Okay? <laughs> and then as soon as you put that to another piece of metal, the damn thing starts to interact like positive and negative. So, positive, oxidisation, negative, clean. Okay? The same things are carrying in there because that rubber in there, okay, that rubber in there is doing a different thing. You're oxidising to the plates, but that rubber in there is arcing. Well, this one here is arcing one side and not the other, but it flows through because of that. That there is burning both sides. That stuff is only one colour. That'll be burning into both sides at the same time. That's what will happen in that. Mm. Okay? Did you show him the big one? That all burns. <laughs> show him the big one. Now, Hit the big watch, one. I'll show you the difference in this cell. Okay. Look down the centre tube. No, it's positive, it? It's electro... It's... It's dirty. Yeah. Positive. It won't wipe off. Mm. It's cool. Now... Look down the center of this one. It's still clean. Uh, it's negative. It's negative. Well, it's clean. Yeah, yeah. negative. It's clean. Green side. So the difference between these two cells is this one is clean on the inside tube where there's no other tube to join up to it. Okay? So that water in the center of that's not neutral water. It's not zero water. That water in the center of there is negative charge water. And all your way out, you've got your stacking of your waters and your stacking of your plates. This one, this one here is positive in the centre. This damn cell should be zero. <laughs> neutrals. That's what they're called neutrals for. That's what you're putting plates in there, knots and no mm. wires to them, so that they won't interact. 
That's what's supposed to happen. Mm. And you're not supposed to put electrolyte in this damn stuff. Yeah. We just realised we're not using that anymore. We're just the only reason you're doing that is because... negative is, charge water. The only reason you're doing that is because this plate is acting like a piece of plain old shit steel what you Brown done years and years ago and you'd be better off with plain steel. One positive steel plate, one negative steel plate, one positive steel plate, and heat's electrolyte, and guess what won't happen? Doesn't matter what insulator you put between it, why? Because it won't break down. What will break down is you will eat mm. the positive plate away. It'll make so much shit, but it will, your negative will never get touched. Never touch the negative plate, is that right? Mm. You will eat your positive plate all the time you'll have to replace it. Go back and check. Mm. I never checked on your brand's science. I've never read one single thing. I don't even know what he looks like. But I know what Here's he did. One. Okay? Correct. He used to have a head, shoulders and feet. Oh, you've got different, different, co really? yeah. you got different wrong, kinds man. of metal in there too. It changes the field effects between different kinds of metal. How do you think you make a battery? Different kinds of metal. you got That's the same rubbers. Same. In fact, you've got different like rubber out there and so on like that. All right, you've got different happening in this. <laughs> do you like the spacings? So because of your rubbers, you... That's like, right. Do you like those spacings? Are they good? Is that acceptable? Why is the outside one so close? No, oh, well, that's just what we had. Well, did you know in a, in a battery or in a positive and negative charge, you have to have 100% exactly how close and how far away. Oh. If you've got the plates in a battery and everything else, no. you have one's too close and one's too far away, it shuts down all the rest of the battery and it shorts it out because you've got resistance or conductivity and everything else on one part, which alters all the rest. So, within this, yeah, this one's breaking down too. So, in that, that kind of a cell, when you build it like that, that is the greatest surface area, but it's the closest. <laughs> Not good. Well, not in a battery, what not about? in positive and negative frequency charge. If it was neutral, did you know it doesn't matter if they're close or far away, does it? If it was all neutral, zero, inside, outside of all plates and everything else, and that's what, really what you're looking like trying to do. Mm -hmm. You would have all of these plates clean as a whistle, you wouldn't need any, you wouldn't need electrolyte, you wouldn't create any shit or anything else, okay? And if there was any shit, the only shit it would come out of is the water. And once you clean the water up and get rid of the shit, you've got yourself a water which is actually getting to be less conductive. But it becomes more reactive in zeros, in, in neutrals, where in positive and negative you need um, more electrolyte or more conductivity. You understand? More and more. What's well, brown water? Brown water. Yeah. Thank you. Brown water. <laughs> so, so. The, okay. This stainless is a hell of a lot better. So the outside one is supposed to be. I don't know whether you can feel it, but this thing here, this this is actually. Mm -hmm. You take all these off singly. You set up some burn yeah. burn arms in this. Through field effect, lining up irons, lining up irons, changing the thing and lining them up long ways. See. That's because of that. That outside one is supposed to be seamless, but the rest are all... Seamed. Now, the second one on the inside is a good one, too. Oh, it, yeah, that it, one? It, no, that one there is a good one, too. It's, uh, no, it's got a seam, the second one. The rest have all got seams, sorry. Sorry. The rest have all got seams, the outside one... Yeah. This is probably good 316 stainless, or really good high-quality stainless. If that one there isn't, that's probably 304 with more chromium in it. Yeah, it's crap. It's You're more right. Cramy. It's greener right. looking, but it's more cramy. Yep. Okay. This one here's got a seam, but and it's, it's centre seam.